Good night, everyone. Today, Thursday, uh, August 11, around 10 p.m. New York time. Guys, uh, let's proceed, Abdul, the daily technical video day. Guys, right here, we're going to start with the Euro dollar. The Euro dollar, very simple, is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 move right here. And it collects three ways move right here to make A and a running flat wave B when we have A, B, C, D, E. Why would draw this conclusion today due to the fact that these two legs they are equal to the dark right there uh, not only that that leg also is the 76 four of this one uh, this is a three wave this is another three wave so technically we believe that we have in a, in, in a in a running triangle when we got a b c d and we're gonna trade higher in euro today on the e way that should end I would say around the 144, I would say 140, 143 to 144.50 area before trading lower back again to the one and weighted 140 area. So that's what we have for tonight. We believe that we have a running triangle in Euro with a new load coming in pretty soon, possible tomorrow or Sunday. All right? And then from here, we're going to turn bullish on the Euro. Even though I don't know with everything that happened in Europe, how we're gonna be able to do that, but well, we don't trust. Um, we believe that this is a manipulation, and nothing more than a manipulation. And everything else is. It, we're gonna find a way. Don't worry about it. Now, we see a pattern around the market when many pairs are ending today. Correcting move. Let's start with the S&P. The S&P, as we forecast last night, it trade higher today, trade 50, almost 52 points higher, and it test the 1186 area. I bounced back pretty hard. Still, the eco legs, well, was right there. That was the level look from the eco legs, and the Teddy A02 is also there. So. What we're spreading tomorrow, we're spreading a risk aversion trade. That risk aversion trade, which consequence is, is going to have for the market, very simple. It's going to trade the dollar higher, that we're going to see down the euro. Also, we're going to see pairs like the dollar cat, that possibly doing a flat wave two when we got one, a flat wave two. And possible test tonight on 9806. Any move below 9760 can be seen that nothing more than a C way from the high that we have today before the cat turning higher. Again, the target for the cat is the area around the 101, 101 Teddy. That's our target for the cat. 101 Teddy in the cat. We we like we see also with the dollar swings like the dollar swings ended this cycle right here one two three four f and then it should trade lower pretty soon that's what we like on the dollar swing trading in lower pretty soon all those pairs that are in corrected way four the same with New Zealand uh, with the Aussie trade when we believe that Aussie is still within the wave four, and Aussie, sorry, let me correct this, is uh, it needs to test about the, the the idea that this there are seven ways right here made the case that Aussie needs to trade higher about just the high of one of four sixteen. So, in extension, believe it or not, this pair can go as high as 10598, 106 area. But I believe that in a short time frame, let me show you the one hour on the Aussie. What Aussie is doing is like a type of or, or ending or leading or diagonal in the way C when you got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weights right here. And then, like a flat, when the C way is 
one, two, three, four, and a five that should end around 104, 14, 14, or maybe a little bit higher right there. That's what we like for Aussie. Now, the New Zealand, we're gonna send the trade to serve the New Zealand. Why? Because as you know, our point of view with the New Zealand, and we see a one, two, three, four, five ways right here, which makes ones after three to the 50% of the preview decline right here. So we line New Zealand lower. And then this retracement, I, I, we will call it today on the forum, bounced from the, uh, from the 76 four area. And it looks, this looks like a broke or it's, it's technically testing the channel right there, or about to test, but it looks very, that it looks like this cycle ended already. So that's gonna leave the case for New Zealand to trade lower tomorrow, looking for an area, I would say, minimum. It needs to trade lower to look from, I would say, 78 area before trading higher again. Then what else? Okay, gold looks like ended the proposal wave three already and should start trading lower. It looks like ended the three now and it should bounce higher either for 1735 or 1685. That's what we like in gold. Finally, let's take a look at cable. I believe that cable, like every dollar pair, it follow our path today pretty good. And I believe that right here, cable ended the wave B and should trade lower tomorrow together with all the all the pairs. That's gonna take us to the euro to the euro pound trade, which I I'll be honest with you, I think that tomorrow is one of those days when cable is gonna stay kind of quiet and euro later on today probably is gonna trade higher so that's gonna take the euro pound trade higher because it needs to go higher to complete a seaway to to i would say to around 89 to around 89 area before dropping back again on the euro pound that's something that we see right there okay so guys, for tonight, very easy. I believe that the dollar is gonna get weak at the beginning, then the dollar is gonna get strong before weakness and strengthening the dollar. The same with the gens, and the, and the S&P probably is gonna open a little bit higher, but then it's gonna trade lower again, okay? So let's leave it there, I'll get back to you guys later.